ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Mega Man Unlimited on our countdown to Splatoon. So, last time, we took down Comet Woman, and we took down Trinitro Man. So next, we're going to be going up against Jet Man. Comet Woman's weapon is strong against Jet Man. We won't be using Trinitro Man's weapon for a boss for a while. So, let's start. Jet Man is one of my favorite levels and one of my favorite robot masters in this game. And the music is perfect. Watch. When those guys get too close to you, they'll release their suitcases, which are full of cards for some reason. Anyways, I should do some explaining. Try Nitro Man's weapon does four times the damage of your standard Mega Buster, which is incredible. And it pierces the shields. Those enemies that you saw earlier that were flying back and forth are invincible from the front. But you can destroy them however you want with the Nitro Man. right through the shield. And now it's time for another mini-boss. He takes 12 hits normally, but only 3 hits with the Tri-Nitro Blast. We'll be seeing him one more time. And here's another new mechanic. Conveyor belts. Run in the opposite direction to move Mega Man. Ooh, bad. Also, you might notice that when I have these weapons out, some of them have an Omega symbol next to their energy meter. The reason for that, I'll get into later. Just ignore it for now. Oops. So yeah, just ignore the Omega for now. If we have Nitro Blast, Secret Passage. Yep, our second alternate move. As you might have guessed, this alternate route has yet another letter. So, let's go and see if we can find it. Gonna wait for you to pass. And go. Wait right here. By the way, spikes are a one-hit death, so be very careful around them. And there's the next letter. A Y. Why did I do that? And if we have the rush coil, I'm gonna keep the comet dash out. Why did I do that? I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. Which I might never happen. And if we're fast enough, maybe. Okay. Otherwise, you'll have to go back down under. And here we rejoin the standard group. Let's grab these bolts and energy tank pieces. There's one thing you need to know about this game, it's fair. You will never think something is cheap in this game. Trust me on that one. This game is fair. That was my bad. When you play this game and you die, you know it's your fault. And 
and that's what I love about it so much. Nothing is too cheap, if at all. I should have slipped, my bad. Sorry. Come on. And time for another mini boss, but oh. I forgot, I'm out of time for it. There we go. He can be a bit difficult. And here we have the boss. Well, aren't you a annoying little thing? How much you die? This makes six hits. Now, you see, in my opinion, Chetman when you start out, is one of the hardest robot masters, especially Buster only. However, once you get some practice down, he's actually one of the easier ones, as I'll demonstrate. As you can see, this does quite a bit of damage to him, but I'm gonna go Buster only, baby. Now when he flies off screen, he can either do that, or when he lands, he'll do that, His attack pattern is a bit complicated the first time around. And it definitely takes some getting used to. I should have jumped, my bad. Now whenever he does that little carpet bomb that you saw earlier, it's very easy to dodge. Just stand directly in the center and jump. Damn it. Piece of cake. I'm surprised I even got hurt as much as I did. Probably because I have more practice with... A... I'll, I'll show you later. That's for the end of this Let's Play, don't worry about that. And now we get... The Jet Missiles. The way they work is you can charge them up and they could, will home in on enemies. On top of that, they also do double the damage of your standard buster, and they have an unbelievable amount of ammo. Let's head to the shop, because there's something we can buy. Oh, we're six gold short. This is the energy equal of Bouncer. Weapon capsules will fill weapons automatically when you're in buster only, when you're using your buster, which is very helpful. The forces have spike protection, uh, there is Meat, who will pick you up if after you fall into a pit. Eddie, who will warp in and give you items. A 1-up, small energy tank, and an energy tank, and a weapon energy tank. I'm only interested in the, uh, energy balancer. So, now we'll be doing one last Robot Master for this video. And that will be... Yo-Yo Man. Yep, Jetman's weapon is strong on Yo-Yo Man. Yo-yo! Oh, I messed up. Actually, hang on. I messed up very badly. Uh, I need to, uh, take care of something. I- I'm sorry, I need to- I messed up badly. I, I apologize for this. I guess this wasn't gonna be a no game on the oh, it already was. Alright, one last life to kill. There we go. Now I'm going to save. 
I apologize. I just need to change an option really quick. There we go. I apologize. Alright, let's go back, I guess. These guys are pretty easy to kill. Here we have some gears. No, not Dr. Gears, it's in the SCP Foundation. What are you talking about? I hate you. Up here is where everything is awesome. I recommend... Never mind, I guess. Aren't you annoying? Anyways, Comet Dash. Useful. I love this song. I love every song in this game. Okay. And here we have an interesting little mechanic. Platforms that go down when I on them, and go up when he's on it. After a short while, they reset. This is a checkpoint. When do I get an extra life? What? Oh, another one! I humbly accept your offer. So I guess I am. Ah, oh, come on. Why aren't you annoying? Anyways, up here we have a small energy tank. This is our fourth one, so we now have a full energy tank. Blast. Use it. Not, not try nitro blast, nitro blast. That was honestly humiliating. As was that. And it's even worse because Yo Yo Man's actually one of the easier robot masters.
bad for you. I hate you. And you too. I'm a moron. I need to be more careful. I don't know why I'm messing up so badly. Oh, come on, I spread over. Oh, thank you. Precision platform rules. Oh, come on, that was some cheating. boring. I'm not Slurpy Ninja. Hey, I didn't die like an idiot. Anyways, now that's over with, check this out. Oi! As soon as I say it's easy, he has three different attacks. None of them are hard to dodge. Jet Missile can actually destroy his yo yo, believe it or not. But. Why, when I can already destroy him that easily? Like I was saying, just ignore the Omega symbols for now. You got mail! Yo yo cutters. Basically, it's like metal blades, but they come back to you. Also, when they hit an object, they will follow it for a little while before coming back to you. Anyways, now let's get the energy balancer. Oh, 106. Really? I I often consider that as required for 100%, but it really isn't. Let's say on um, slot 3. And... What's this? I read the more tests. I've never seen anything like this. It seems some kind of virus is completely rewriting the programs of those robots. So that's why there's a hostile. I gotta stop them! Be careful, my man. The virus even seems to be transmitted by simply being in contact with the infected robots. That's odd, he has defeated four of them so far, and still hasn't shown any signs of infection. Strange. And if that plot seems familiar, like I said, this came out before Mega Man 10. <laughs> but anyways, that was it for this episode, and I will see you on the flip side.